Once you have unlocked the door, walk inside. There are two power switches that you must press in order to turn everything on. The first one is located halfway down the tall panel on your left. Next, behind the reminder to record sign, there is another one right under the two level desk. Switch that on too. Once everything is on, you should check your microphone batteries. All of our microphones, save one, are lavalier microphones that the council people will be wearing on their person. Check every mic for an appropriate battery life. If it is below two bars, or at two bars when you first turn it on, you should change it immediately. Batteries are provided for you in bins. You are operating a remote camera setup, which means that you have a remote control station that controls all three cameras. This may take a few minutes to boot up, as it must search for all three cameras individually. Once it has located all three cameras, the buttons on the controller will light up blue. Pressing between one, two, and three on the top row of buttons will allow you to take control of cameras one, two, and three. Moving the joystick left and right will move the camera left and right. Moving it up and down will move the camera up and down. Twisting the top of the joystick left and right will zoom the camera in and out. Camera 1 will show you the right side of the room, so it should be a static shot. You should make sure that all five council people's chairs on this side of the room are in frame, so that all five council people will show up on screen when they sit down. Camera 2 is a safety shot of most of the room, therefore it should be centered into the middle of the room and show all of the council members, the city clerk's chair, and the council president's chair. That way when they all sit down, they are all in frame. Once that is done, you must turn on your camera control software and the laptop. The laptop boots up like any other laptop and requires no password. On the left hand side of the desktop, there is an icon for ATEM software. Click it, and it will open the controller software. Once this is done, you should put out your microphones. You should take the bin that they are stored in and a boom stand with you for your convenience. Once you are off in the council room, you will have to put the microphones in order. The order of the microphones goes counterclockwise to the middle of the room. One through five go on the far right table, with one starting on the end closest to you and going up. Six and seven belong on the two center desks. Finally, eight through twelve go on the left, with twelve going on the end closest to you. Next, you should set up the public microphone. The public microphone is placed at the top of the horseshoe of desks. Set the boom stand up, and then place the microphone on the stand. You can turn this microphone on at the bottom by pressing and holding the little red button until the screen on the handle turns on. All microphones should be turned on no later than five minutes before the meeting starts. All this done, it is finally time for you to come back downstairs and set up your DVD. The DVD is the most important part of this entire process, as it creates a digital record that we will use for future editing. First, take a blank DVD from the canister, then label it. Put City Council Meeting and then Today's Date. Then, you just plop it into the DVD recorder and then hit the record button when the meeting begins. When the meeting ends, press stop and then wait for a couple of seconds so that it is done finalizing the data. Then, take it out and place it in one of the many white DVD sleeves. If you ever have any issues, please consult the folder in the room, and you should be able to work out any problems you are having by following the step-by-step -step instructions. All this done, you are now ready to get to work. Have a good meeting.